I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to set a static IP address for your Raspberry Pi and also how to remote into it after you get your static IP address. So The first thing you need to do is hook your Raspberry Pi to a monitor and you're going to want to turn it on and make sure to hook a keyboard and mouse to it. And then you're going to open up. It's going to have just a command prompt for you after you sign in and the default sign in is Pi and the password was Raspberry. Once you get in, you can press Start X to get to the GUI like I have. It's not necessary, but if you're a new user, it's a lot friendlier. So you can either do this from the command prompt or you can go into LX Terminal. And you want to type in the command if config. Enter. If you're using an Ethernet connection, then all the information you need is going to be here. I am using Wi-Fi though, so all the information is going to be under WLAN 0 and you need to copy down inet address and the corresponding number bcast and the corresponding number and also mask and the corresponding number once you have these copied down then you need to put in the command net stat dash n r enter now you need to write down destination and the corresponding number and gateway with the corresponding number once you have those five numbers, then we are going to need to edit one of the files. So we will put in sudo e nano etc network interfaces. Press enter. And I'm using nano. You can use gedit or vim or some other uh, um, text editing software but I like Nano the best it's easiest for me so when you get in here you're not gonna have any of this paragraph and yours is gonna say I face eth0 inet static I'm sorry DRHP dynamic uh, host protocol something like that you need to change that to static after you change it to static then you're gonna need to add the line address then address is gonna be the number for inet address you put it in Netmask is going to be the same as mask, and you put in the number for your mask. Network is going to be destination, so you put in network, and then whatever number you had for destination, put after it. Broadcast is going to be the Bcast number, and gateway is going to be the same, and you put in the corresponding number. And then after you're done with that, you press Control X to save it, and then to test it, we'll go ping and then you're going to put in whatever your inet address is so in my case that's 192.168.1.109 and then we will do dash c and 10 that's just saying it ping ping the uh ping that address 10 times so we'll ping it and we are getting data so that means everything's good once it stops pinging then we will go ahead and get into the pi so the first thing we need to do is install a client so you can actually get in. And the client is going to be XRDP. So we will do sudo apt-get install XRDP. Enter. And then it's going to read the dependency tree. And I already have it. so on yours it's going to prompt you to say yes to download the software you press Y and enter and then once you get the software then you are good to go for the Raspberry Pi so you can go ahead and exit out of your Raspberry Pi and then from your computer then you can go if you're using a Ubuntu machine then all you have to do is type in Remina at the terminal enter and it'll open up Remina for you and then I'll start a new one to show you how it is you're going to put the name in. You can name it whatever you want. I named mine Pi. And make sure you have it under RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol. The server is going to be the INET address. So, like I said, in my case, it's going to be 192.168.1.109. The username is going to be Pi, in my case. If you've changed it, then it'll be different. Then you put in the password to your Pi. And then you save it and you can connect and it brings you up so that's about it thank you for watching